Okay. Okay, greetings, everybody. I am trying something new. I am, uh, let's see. Let's see if we got this okay. Uh, okay, very good, very good. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, we are set. I'm trying something a little different here. I am learning how to post on the original Facebook page, Michael Matsuda, and then I'm cross-promoting it with the Martial Arts History Museum page. So hopefully I can get two videos at the same time. But I'm not sure. It's a work in progress. I'm not sure how to do it, but uh, it's worth a try. So I'm giving it a shot here and posting it on multiple pages on Facebook, okay? Multiple pages. I don't know which one people are watching, so you got to let me know which one you're watching from Michael Matsuda or the um, – Martial Arts History Museum, or even Museums page. Uh, if you can let me know which one you're watching it from, that'd be great. Okay, over here on YouTube, I see uh, Troy Ransom. Hey, Troy, how you doing? Uh, Troy, I hope you know Troy Ransom. And then uh, Apache Knife, uh, Robert Redfeather. There you go, Robert. How are you? I hope you're doing well, Robert. A uh, couple of news updates, and here's what's going on at the Martial Arts History Museum. My name is Michael Matsuda. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, just some quick little tidbit information, not too much, but uh, a little bit. Um, we just shot a wonderful video uh, with Robert Redfeather and Robin Price on Apache knife fighting. That was very cool. We had a lot of fun. Many thanks to Fireboys and Jacques for allowing us use allowing us to use his Team Karate Centers. That's very very kind of him. So many kudos to Fireboys. If you don't know Fireboys and Jacques, please do. Uh, so I appreciate that. Ted Mattingly, thank you for watching. Ted, what 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 uh, Facebook page are you watching it from? Because I'm posting it on multiple links, and I'm not sure which one I'm seeing it on. So if it's on Michael Matsuda or Martial Arts History Museum, let me know which one you're watching it from, or museums. Uh, that'd be great. So again, it's a work in progress trying to figure this thing out, how to post um, at the same time to different entities. Anyway, um, so we just shot a wonderful video. Uh, you guys are going to see later on. We're going to promote it later on. should be pretty exciting. We'll see what's going to happen with it. But uh, I tested it. I laid it out, just lay out without any edits, exported it, and it worked. So, yay, I'm thrilled to death that it's working. The camera we're using is fantastic. So many thanks to Mario Prado for helping us out on that. That's very kind of you, Mario. And um, so uh, everything is good, at least the process so now I feel at ease. Now I can edit the rest of the stuff and have it ready probably by tomorrow evening uh, for the people involved. And then they'll take it from there. Let, then they'll let us know uh, when we can. Uh, it's going to be aired. So anyway, thank you, uh, Robert, uh, for doing that. So very cool, very cool. Okay, what else is up? Well, as you know, I've been making my tiki. And uh, here's uh, my guy so far. Okay, I just gave him my first coat of a uh, light brown right now and I carved them out. See, I carved the, the holes, I carved the teeth and I gave him some cool eyes. They're gonna be sunglasses. I'm gonna give him sunglasses, that would be really cool. So I carved it out. As you can see, he's playing a bongo drum here. So I cut out the drum and then I made the deep impressions on here so I can look the different layers on here. And I made the mouth and made the teeth and all that. So it came out pretty cool. I'm, I'm pleased with it. This is my very first one carving a tiki. I've never carved a tiki before. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to put it up there next to the other tiki and, uh, you know, provide a little background. So that's what I did. Uh, I had gotten the nose. And usually that you carve down from the nose. You carve down to different layers. See how there are different layers on here. And, you know, it, it was the first time I'm doing it. So I really didn't want to chance it. So what I did is I went out and I, I cut another nose and I paste it on here. So it make its own layer. So it's a taller layer uh, on its own. So that's okay. That's okay. Any way you can do it. Uh, it's I used a, a small like router and was able to do this. Um, I was really unsure of myself. So as you can see, it's not perfect in some places. You know, it's a little off. Uh, it isn't uh, perfectly symmetrical on each side. But, you know, it's a work in progress. 
Um, I'm sure the real tiki makers uh, didn't have exactly the same, but I tried my best. I never, never used those tools before, so uh, it was kind of fun to do. I practiced it a little bit on my own, and then I went after it on the tiki, and it came out okay. So he's not too bad, not too bad. I'm going to add the colors to him. they got different shades of brown, so I'm going to add that to him, and so it's going to look pretty cool. So as you can see, I did three layers on here. One, two, three layers. And as you can see, it's that styrofoam. It's that pink one you can buy. Very uh, heavy duty, very durable. And uh, so this guy's pretty good. It's not too bad. So I'm very happy. This is, this is again, uh, uh, a unique challenge for me. I never did a, a tiki um, uh, uh, carving. And uh, I used to do ceramics back in the day. I know. Back in the day in high school, I was a TA, a teacher's assistant, for the ceramics class. So I used to excel in ceramics. So it wasn't that foreign to me, even though it's made out of styrofoam. Uh, doing the carvings and all that was kind of unique to do. Uh, I see where I went wrong, you know, but that's okay. It came out pretty cool, even though I didn't do exactly correct. But uh, close enough. It took me about two days to do this. Uh, mainly because the first time I ever used those tools, so I was a little uh, uh, a little leery on it. Uh, Neo, thank you for watching. Neo's watching over there. Uh, seemed very imposing. Looks great. Thanks. <laughs> Robert Price is watching. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know he's not the best. You know, it's my first time. Um, I think I could have done a little bit better. Uh, again, the first time I ever used those tools. So, you know, I had the, 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 the drill and I had to drill on it and then I didn't know how to drill. So sometimes I went like this, whoops, <laughs> I got it. a little shaky in my first time, even though I practiced it a little bit and it isn't as smooth as I wanted it, but tiki's are not supposed to be real smooth because they're, you know, carved out of a tiki. So it's supposed to be a little gruff. So it did. I left that kind of gruffness to it. And then when I paint it, I'm going to add the colors. Uh, I try to keep it all brown and black, but different shades of brown. Because most of them, you know, in Hawaii, they didn't, they didn't color a lot of their tiki. Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. But um, the ones that we have right now are only in brown uh, or some different shades of brown and black. So I think I'm going to be consistent with that and keep it that way. So he came out pretty good. Uh, the teeth came out really nice. I like that a lot. I indented in here to make the teeth go back a little bit. So that was kind of cool. And uh, I think he's a nice representation. He's playing, he's, mu he's musically oriented. He's from the band. He's from the Rolling Stones. <laughs> so anyway, didn't, I didn't want to make, uh, I didn't want to make a, a tiki god. I didn't want to make one of the actual uh, gods that they, they have in Hawaii. I wanted to make him uh, completely uh, made up. So that's what I I did. I took a little piece here, took a little piece there, put it all together and made my own tiki from it. And it came out pretty cool. Uh, the eyes I added on top of it. And again, they're going to be dark like uh, he's wearing sunglasses. So I thought it'd be kind of funny, you know, to have him wearing fun stuff like that. So anyway, here's my tiki guy. Not too bad. Uh, tonight, I'm going to start doing the other colors on it. And then, uh, and then when it's all dry, it's going to go in the... Uh, Hawaiian section to be by the other big tiki and we'll set that up and then I'll work on a new one and uh, make a different face and all that. I, 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 now that I've learned how to do it a little more, it's going to be a lot easier. <laughs> but uh, again, work in progress. The tiki guy, I don't have a name. The other one's called Irving. Uh, I don't know his name yet, so we'll figure out a name for him. So anyway, that's, that's the tiki guy that I've been working on in between everything else. So <laughs> oh, look at Robert says, hey, Robert, Robert McCullough watching all the way from England. Very cool. He says, can I get a shout out for Dr. Dance? Dr. Dance, say hello, everybody, to Dr. Dance, a shout out. Uh, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, thank you, Robert, for connecting us. I uh, hope you're watching. A big shout out again for Dr. Dance. Very good. Uh, let's see who, uh, let's see some comments over here. Thank you, John. Very nice. Okay. Uh, what do you guys, uh, those of you who are watching on Facebook, uh, which, uh, uh, page are you watching it from? I'm, I'm trying multiple things on this one and I'm not sure what page the video is coming out on. 
So if you guys can let me know what page, either Michael Matsuda Facebook page or the Martial Arts History Museum uh, Facebook page. If you can let me know, that'd be great. So I know what to do next time because I'm trying to simultaneously broadcast on two other pages, but I'm not sure if it's working. Anyway. Okay. Uh, what else is new? Uh, just to let you know, the magazines that we have, and we have a ton of them, all the old vintage magazines, we are making them on sale. Three, three for one dollar. Three for one dollar. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't ship them out. But if you come into the museum, you could buy them right for here. Any of them, three for a dollar. We got some vintage ones that go all the way back to the 1960s uh, with Black Bob Magazine. So they're pretty good. Uh, we had started uh, putting them out on this new sale about a week ago. And I'd say in a week, we've sold about 100 copies. So that's pretty good. So it's a good idea to get that out so people can uh, see that. Oh, Neo says, the Martial Arts History Museum. Thank you, Neo. Thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate that. Sean Poon's watching. Thank you, Sean. How are you? So uh, very good. Very good. Oh, uh, Robert Redfeather says, Martial Arts History Museum and Facebook. Very cool. Thank you, sir. Okay, now that I know it's coming out on that. So anyway, uh, what else is up? Uh, we went for a fantastic time at Pinocchio's. Uh, me, Robert Redfeather, Robin Price, and Mario Prado. That was a lot of fun. Love Pinocchio's. It's a great place to eat. If you're ever here in Burbank, I'm making a plug for them. Pinocchio's, they will never reciprocate on that. But it's a great place to eat at good price. So it's not too bad. We, ha we had a good time out of sandwich air. And uh, that was pretty delicious. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Took some of it home. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Um, we uh, got another line of hats. Oh, I wanted to show you the new hat. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm just going to grab it over here, and I'm going to bring it back over here. Unless I have it here. No, give me a second. Okay, thank you for waiting, guys. I appreciate that very much. Okay, here we go. Okay, we had a bunch of cool hats, new hats that came in. I thought I'd share that with you. I want to thank everybody for getting some hats on Etsy. That's been really nice of you. I appreciate that. Etsy.com is our new shopping place. Uh, this is one of our new ones. Uh, this is a beige with a black dragon, and it's distressed. So you see it's distressed. It's like, like someone ate it. It's, it's a good zombie hat, you know, zombie ate it a little bit. And then, you know, our, our standard one, uh, this is our biggest seller. It's a black one, it's very sturdy, uh, a hard one, you know, uh, and that's very, very nice. People buy that one. That's our biggest seller of them all. Our new pink ones came in. This is kind of cool. It's a white dragon and then a pink hat. Uh, ladies usually like this one. So, so far, so good. That one's pretty popular. Uh, another one is our military style hat, a camouflage hat with the logo on that. That's pretty nice. So I really enjoy it. Um, uh, our brand new one is uh, right here, Stars and Stripes. We've got a nice Stars and Stripes with the museum logo. And that's embroidered Stars and Stripes right on here. So that's pretty cool. So it's right embroidered on there. So it's a very nice Stars and Stripes one, a uh, very patriotic one. And then this one now is our best seller. Uh, next to, uh, besides our logo hat, uh, this is a, a camouflage hat, a military, and then the beige dragon. And uh, this has become our best seller right now, besides the main one. So uh, this one's the best seller, okay? By far, by far, this one's the best seller. Outsells everything uh, right here. But this is our second best seller, our new military one. So that's that's pretty exciting. So the, I like it. It's a very cool design. It comes out kind of camouflage and it kind of blends in. So that, that's our second bestseller now. We just got these. So anyway, uh, we're selling them now on Etsy. I'm, I'm getting more and more comfortable shipping uh, these items. And once I get fully comfortable, I'll make them available worldwide so everybody can order them. Uh, or as far as I can, you know, maybe England and a few other places like that. But uh, I'll check it out and see what I have to do. Uh, but in the meantime... We're going to make those available. Those are available right now on Etsy. 
etsy.com. So uh, thank you, people, again, for getting stuff on there. Uh, what else is coming up? As you know, as you know, Dragon Fest is canceled. You know that already. You know that way. I wish we could have it, but, uh, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, we are applying for a new grant uh, from the city, the uh, city, the government. It just put out a federal grant uh, like two days ago, and uh, we meet the criteria. So I'm going to start applying for that today, and hopefully we'll get some funds for that to keep the museum going forward. Many thanks to so many people who have been donating lately. Um, the donations have been coming in, so I'm very thrilled about that. Very thrilled about people are helping out quite a bit. So thank you. Thank you to everybody. Uh, uh, working, uh, the, as you know, the museum, we are open. We are now fully open uh, Thursday through Sunday, 11 to 6. We cannot open our events yet, but hopefully in June we can start that or whatever. We, you know, they keep changing their mind over here. So whenever we start uh, being able to open up the full doors to everybody, That'll be great, okay? So anyway, uh, let's see what else. Okay, but we'll, we'll get that. We're going to start with a gambling night. <laughs> I call it LCR night. If you know how to play LCR, you know what I'm talking about. That'll raise the little funds, and it won't bring in a ton of people because we don't want that at first. You know, we want just a small amount of people, but that'll bring in a little funds for the museum. So that'll be cool. Um, also, uh, I'm taking some... Uh, work. I have gone back to my uh, other roots <laughs> since nothing's coming into the museum. Uh, and I never got paid anyway, but I always make a little money from different things like, you know, here and there. Uh, many years ago, years ago, we're talking years ago, I used to be a producer. That was my job. I produced commercials for Blue Cross of California. That was my main job for most of my life. And before that, I was a designer. But uh, anyway, uh, I started working as an extra once again. Uh, back in, again, I used to do this uh, as well as a background actor. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. So uh, look for me on a couple of shows coming up. Uh, I think it's called Abbott Elementary. And the other one is called Why Women Kill. <laughs> I know, I know. So I'm on there. I, I've been working for the past couple of weeks. So that's been pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun, and I get a little uh, time on TV, so you can you can see my little face there uh, on TV. Uh, I apologize for uh, this mark here. I just had it sprayed, and uh, you know when you get some mark on your face, you go to the doctor, and they use that nitro, whatever it's called. That's what they did here. So they put that nitro. That thing hurts like crazy. So they put it on, and then it takes a few days for that to fall off. So. Um, uh, please ignore that. That's going to fall off pretty soon. Oh, okay. Sean Foon says hats are $20. Yes, hats are $20. If you come into the museum, uh, it's $20 right from here. If you go on to Etsy, it's still $20, but, you know, you're paying your, for the shipping and all that stuff. You know how it is. Ordering anything on the Internet, you got to pay for shipping and tax and all that. That's just that's just part of, part of living. Part of living. <laughs> At least it's not like the old days. Remember the old days of the comic books you used to order? In the back of the comic books, you order your x-ray glasses or your whoopee cushion or whatever, and it would take six weeks to get <laughs> Remember that? Okay. Okay. Thank God we're not there. Um, as soon as we get the order, we do our best to fill it out very quickly and send it off right away. So it won't take that long for people to uh, get the hat. But I appreciate everybody coming on board and purchasing a hat from Etsy. That really helps us out. Very cool. Uh, Neo says, great, best of luck in those shows. Thank you very much. Uh, we There's something coming up with another show that I did produce uh, just last year. Not even last year. It's not even a year yet. And uh, we'll, we'll let you know what's happening with that. But great things are going forward with that. I'm very excited to see that. Oh, Corky, how are you doing? Um, again, my condolences to you, my cousin. Uh, many condolences on your loss. So I understand. I understand. I understand. Anyway, uh, what else is going on? Um, I think that's really about it as, as new ventures are going on. We're, we're adding more and more things now that I've, I've gotten a little more familiar with uh, the Tiki guy. In case you guys signed on brand new, uh, just uh, I, I'm on to my second stage of my Tiki guy. Uh, he's my first coat of brown. And then colors to it and all that. So uh, carving it uh, came out pretty cool. 
not too bad for my first tiki. I used to make bowls years ago, clay bowls on the on the machine, you know, that spin. I forgot what it's called now, the potter's wheel. And uh, that was a lot of fun to do. So this was all by hand, all carved by hand. You know, you can get these done computer generated, but you're talking, you know, uh, $200 or something like that. And uh, I know they'll come out better and come out sharper, but, uh, you know, this is the cost of, uh, of these things. So it's probably like $20, and then the rest is your time. That's all it is. The rest is your time. Uh, $20 plus some Elmer's glue. <laughs> and the rest is your time working on the Tiki. I think uh, after a time, uh, I'll be good at it. And then uh, once I get this done, I'll start uh, adding animatronics to it a little bit later on. Lexi, thank you for watching, Lexi. Lexi, sis, thank you very much. And uh, let's see who else is on here. I'm scrolling on here so I can see who's watching. Okay, and then uh, a lot of people have been telling me, um, hey, I saw your YouTube. We've been watching it. and uh, Or Facebook Live. We've been watching it all the time. So thank you very much. I hope as this gets out to people, I just want to keep in touch with you guys and uh, so you keep in touch with the museum and we'll let you know what's going on. We are still here. We are still here functioning, hopefully going forward uh, over and over. Um, we're still waiting on things, uh, different grants. As you know, the COVID threw a monkey wrench into everything. So hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, if we could still get those grants and other things that are out there available for us. And we'll still, they say it's moving forward. Uh, and things are moving forward, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, when it goes through, I'll be happy. <laughs> okay, when it goes through, I'll be happy, and then we'll go from there. So that's where it's at. Uh, we still got a few additional new hat designs. I'm going to focus more on hats than anything else, uh, and so I'm doing more and more different designs that will help us out. Uh, we're going to have a, another... Uh, martial art magazine a sale evening here uh, we're, i'm trying to get that together we had it a while back years ago now where magazines were everywhere here at the museum and we're going to do that again and we're going to have the nice special rate uh not that i'm trying to get rid of the magazines we have so many that's you what know, we have we have a, a ton of it you know a ton of magazines just a ton we got uh, every issue like four times you know and uh, all in storage and everywhere else. Uh, we appreciate people donating the magazines to us. Uh, we had a few assigned magazines, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we are going to, as I finish this broadcast, we're going to put another magazine uh, online for everybody to make a bid at. Thank you so much, America Sabi Samas, for making a bid for Graciela Casillas magazine. He, he won that bid and he, he got his copy. So that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm trying to get Gerald Okamura signed, uh, his cover, and uh, Cecil Peoples. Uh, Sensei Cecil is coming over, and he's going to sign his cover, and we'll see about doing some auction on a few of those. So th that's pretty exciting to do when we get, get them to sign the cover. So th that's pretty nice. I'm going for my second COVID shot, so I should be ready to go very soon if I don't turn into a zombie like the movies. <laughs> No, no, we won't turn to zombies. But uh, I'm getting for, ready to go for my second shot, and uh, then I'll be free and clear, and that'll be pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's about it, it in news. Uh, as you know, the new Kung Fu series is out. I hope you guys watch it and enjoy it. It's pretty cool. Uh, the new show Warrior put out by Shannon Lee on Bruce Lee's writings. It's going to be pretty good. I like it a lot. It's a great show. I, I've been watching it, so um, I'm pretty excited about that. I love anything martial arts. And, uh, you know, anything that promotes the martial arts, I think it's pretty fun. Uh, all the best to the Al Ray Network. They are regrouping, and I hope things work out for you guys there. I'd love to be part of your network once again. Uh, just great people at the Al Ray Network that really helped us out. And I can't say enough great things about them. And, um, you know, I would love to be working with them more in the near future. Um, so working on that. Uh, also, our new cap is out. Uh, it is called the Camacho Experiment Cap. And uh, hold on. I think I got it right here. Let me see. I, I showed it once before. And uh, let's see if I have it right here. Uh, okay. um, 
We are uh, doing a bigger promotion with the Camacho Experiment Camp. Uh, a cap. Uh, we've been helped by a few other people that really want to get it out. So we're going to be selling it as well on Etsy. Many thanks to our Camacho for for giving a large percentage of that uh, anything that comes in for that cap to help us out. So this is very kind of you. It's very nice of you. I appreciate that much, very much. Uh, oh, Robert says, let me know when you're shipping for the UK for the hats. I will, Robert. I will. Uh, we are. Uh, Okay. Oh, I see. Very good. Um, we are getting ready. Again, this shipping thing is all new to me. <laughs> you know, it's all new to me. I never ship stuff. I've never been a fan of shipping stuff. You know, it just takes a lot of time to do. You got to go to the post office. You got to do all that, you know. But but as now that I'm doing it on Etsy, and we're, again, we're going to put everything on Etsy. All the books, all the videos will be on Etsy, okay? We are slowly getting them up there, not just caps. And as I get more comfortable with the mailing and the postage and all that, I will make it available to the UK, the United Kingdom, and so they can purchase hats from overseas. That would be pretty exciting. I'm putting my gun, uh, Monkey Kung Fu DVDs also on that page, and uh, that's to help us out as well. So, uh, again, I'm going to be putting everything from the museum on Etsy. Etsy is a great place to shop, great stuff on there, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, Graham's Fight Corner. Thank you very much for watching, my friend. I appreciate that. Graham's Fight Corner. So, uh, oh, Robert says, I can't wait. There you go. We got some good hats. We got some pretty good hats. So uh, I like them, the new style and all that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nathan Chung. I don't know who that is, Sean. Sean writes about somebody, Nathan Chung. Brian Sincom says, happy Thursday. Thank you, Brian. Very good. Thank you for watching. It is Thursday. I can't believe it was Thursday already. So anyway, uh, I think that's it in news and information about the Martial Arts History Museum. Some old news, some new news, and uh, some, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. Okay. So uh, anybody, do you have any questions for me? Oh, oh, I wanted to add this. As you know, the Martial Arts History Museum YouTube page it's doing well. Thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing. We are at 1,600 and something subscribers. So how cool is that? Uh, we need more, so please get on there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we are going to launch a new thing. Uh, you know, we're always putting new things on there. Uh, we put on the uh, honor days that people got the videos during the day they were honored here. So I've been posting those up. And then we have been posting biographies and then now our expert class. And we've been making that part of YouTube as well. Well, we're launching a new thing called Things You Didn't Know. Okay, a new YouTube uh, video about uh, different people. And it'll be kind of cool. And about, uh, you know, things you didn't know about uh, uh, Enter the Dragon. Or things you didn't know about uh, uh, Bruce Lee or, or somebody, you know what I mean? So we're going to look at different things like uh, we're working on uh, you know different leaders in the martial arts and things you didn't know about them and that's what we're going to be doing in our new video coming up things you didn't know and i think it'd be kind of fun you know either be about a movie or about a person or about a leader or whatever so i, I think that's pretty cool uh i just finished here we go i brought this out i mentioned this last time i finished this great book uh by steve sexton uh it's called the legend of uh, of uh, Steve Roadhouse uh, Sexton. Great book. You know, it talks about him being a bouncer and all the different uh, battles that he had at being a bouncer. And uh, just a really fun book. I just finished this and I'm on to my new book uh, coming up, Striking Distance. I'm working on that one. I'm trying my best to read a little more than I usually do. And uh, I think that's good for me keep the brain going <laughs> now that now that i'm over 80 so anyway uh, working hard on that i uh, gotta keep those marbles moving you know uh I, my father-in-law lived quite a while for a long time and uh he he, his, he played dig dug most of <laughs> in his later years he got the hooked on dig dug and i think that was good for him kept his mind going and so he was always alert uh until he was a 90 something and uh, so um, uh, that, that was pretty cool to do that. So uh, I'll be playing the Galaga and uh, Donkey Kong when I get <laughs> much older. And those are my two favorite. Miss, 
Ms. Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, I love you, but Ms. Pac-Man is a lot better. And uh, Donkey Kong and Galaga, my three favorites. So anyway. Okay, uh, that's it at this point of news and information. Does anybody have a question for me? Any Q&A? What's going on? What's our Camacho doing? I don't know. He's not here. <laughs> but uh, what else is new? So any questions for me? Anybody out there? I'll wait a few moments. I know it's hard to type. Type fast, you know. It's hard to type fast. Sometimes I accidentally closed everything down and people were still typing. I didn't realize it. <laughs> you know? This brings up to a fun story. While you guys are thinking of a question, um, as I told you, I, I'm working now uh, almost every week uh, doing extra work, uh, background actors. And uh, there are different situations they put us in. We don't talk, but we, we act back and forth as, as a member of SAG. Uh, you, you get a little bit nicer roles. So uh, one time, now this happened a little while back. One time they put one of the extras in, in on the, the gurney, you know, the one that I think they call it a gurney, right? The bed that on rollers, okay? So they put her in there, and then uh, she was supposed to be a patient, you know? So she gets rolled down the aisles, and they say, cut, and all that. And then they'll tell the background, okay, background, go to holding. That's the place you hang out and talk and eat and all that. It's pretty fun. And anyway, so uh, she was in the, the cart and they were moving the cart around and then they said, okay, we're not going to need the cart in the shoot. We're going to keep everybody here, all the actors here, all the background actors. Let's move the cart to the next section. Just move it over a little bit because they got fake doors and fake rooms. So they move it to the next room and they said to her, okay, uh, why don't you just hang out right here they're, gonna, they're not going to uh, do it. Uh, you're not going to shoot you in this scene. So why don't you just hang out and then, uh, you know, go to sleep if you want. And we'll, we'll come by and we'll wake you up or we'll tell you or bring you back, you know, and all that. And tell you when you're on. We'll let you know. So just hang out over here. Don't worry about anything. You know, take a snooze and we'll pick you up. So <laughs> lo and behold, they forgot about her. Completely forgot about her. They ended the scene. And she's, just, she's asleep now. So they end in the scene. They close the lights. <laughs> you think when they check people out, you say, where is this girl? You know? So they forgot about her. All of a sudden, at 3 in the morning, she wakes up. There she is on a dark set. Nobody there. She has to get out, figure out how to get on there because it's dark. And then she found the security guy at 3 in the morning says, hey, what's going on? They told me to sit here, and they forgot about me. So they had to pay her overtime all the way to 3 in the morning. So that was a funny time in Extra. Uh, there's a lot, we get a lot of funny stuff that happens during Extra. Being an Extra out there's a lot of funny stuff, and that was a pretty funny one. So it was kind of cool. Uh, Robert says, is Dragon Fest on this year? Uh, no, it is not. No, it is not. Um, uh, Dragon Fest, uh, that great question. Thank you. In case you didn't hear, a Dragon Fest, Dragon Fest, we are not having it this year. Uh, we, 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 we get sponsors from the city, and they help us out, and we get a few other sponsors. Uh, but the city bases the amount they give you on the amount of hotels that people got the year before. So because we didn't have Dragon Fest last year, um, we didn't get anybody at the hotels, so there's no money to give to us. So they're not giving us a dime. So, excuse me, I need a little drink here. So since they're not giving us anything and we don't have any major sponsors coming on, that pays for everything. Believe me, this stuff costs galore. It's not, you know, a couple thousand. It's a lot of thousands. Okay, these things really cost a lot, and the place alone costs a lot, and we just don't have the money to get the place because even if we got the place, we're still not going to get the big crowd in there because, you know, the COVID thing, you know, people are still a little leery. And plus, the place that we're going to have it uh, still says they're not open. And uh, they said, we don't know any word of what's going to happen. And if we're going to be able to open it up for Dragon Fest. So rather than take the risk of somebody flying all the way here from somewhere 
uh, and, and the Dragon Fest not happen, we're just going to cancel it all together. So we are not having Dragon Fest. Are we having a virtual Dragon Fest? Probably not. Uh, we just don't have enough people in the martial arts uh, to pay for a lot of different things. I don't know. Maybe it will happen. I don't know. We're flirting with it. I know Cynthia was asking us to do it and a few other people, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll toss it around. We'll see what happens. But so far, uh, no Dragon Fest. Uh, let's see. Robert McCullough says, when are you doing the museum online tour? Robert, we already did it. We already did it. Uh, if you go in uh, one of our YouTubes, you will see the tour of the museum. It's already on there. Uh, we could not do it live because the Wi-Fi here is uh, the cinder block. It blocks it here, and we'll lose the Wi-Fi connection. So that will happen. It's just the museum has cinder block on each sides of the walls. And once you get in so far in the museum, uh, the, the Wi-Fi goes out. You, you can't get any connection. So we already did the tour, online tour. It's right there on YouTube. You have to look for it a little bit, but it's already done, uh, Robert, so you can enjoy that. Uh, I gotta go watch it. Yeah, thank. Oh, thanks. Uh, we made the tour. We made the tour about the museum and and uh, um, why things are in there, kind of kind of stuff. We didn't go through every item in the museum because we want you to see it all. But we went into every section and talked about what it meant, what it was, and a little backstory about it from what we we gathered over the years okay so that's on the museum tour it's a nice backstory something you can't get everywhere you know it's it's nice to see items but it's nice to know more on the backstory about the items and different things in that section so i, I know you guys will enjoy it i hope you really have a good time okay Graham has a question will i be able to buy the lapel pins on etsy so you are talking about let's see the lapel pin. oh okay hold on here it is this one, right? You're talking about this one? Here it is. Okay, this one. Is that the one? Okay. Yes. Yes. These are the one. They have that little thing in the back. See how it fits on there? Okay. These are pretty good. Cool. I like them. They came out really nice. I'm very impressed with them. You know? Here it is. I'm very impressed with one. You, you can order many different styles of this, and I thought this was a pretty good style. It's like a nice flush style. It's uh, one full coating across it, and I, I think it came out pretty good. It is so, you know, it, it's, it's it, there's a lot of detail in here, so sometimes you can't do uh, every kind of style in there. I know you could do some with raised a little bit, but uh, I think we're just a little bit too detailed on there to do that. So anyway, um, those, yes, those will be available on Etsy. We're going to put everything on Etsy. We're going to put everything on Etsy and that people can enjoy it. Yeah. So that'll be there. Patches, everything. We'll put it all on. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Any questions, anybody? Okay. That's it. Uh, I would say want to thank you everybody for tuning in. I truly always, always appreciate it. It's nice to keep in touch with everybody, let you know what's going on with the museum. I know sometimes, again, we repeat some stuff, you know, what's going on, but you guys, at least you're in tune with what's happening. And uh, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what's going to happen? And uh, we'll just play it by ear. Uh, we've been getting some visitors in, not a lot, but we're still getting, we're starting to get a few. So that's always good news. And, uh, but I think this Etsy thing is going to be really good for us, uh, selling our hats and different things on Etsy. I think it's going to be a real good thing for us. Okay, that's it, everybody. You take care. I will talk to you later. Have a great time. Have a fantastic weekend. Have a fun Thursday. Fun Friday and enjoy. Do something exciting this weekend. I, you know, I, I should go to uh, Disney. Has that uh, downtown Disney? I haven't been there in quite a while. I'd love to go there. I gotta go there. Maybe I'll ask uh, Art Camacho see if he wants to go. He doesn't live too far from there, so I'll, I'll bug him a little bit. Oh, there's a question here. There's a question. Good time. Always great to see you. Get the lowdown of great stories. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I do my best. You know, there's some great, great fun stuff out there and things that happen all over the place. It's nice to share a little bit of those things. So anyway, <laughs> okay, you take care, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.